today the zip built-in function in Python 3. All right, let's just jump right in with some code, shall we? So we're gonna start with the basics and we're gonna work our way through some of the options that the zip function has available to us. So we'll run this right away. Uh, we're printing out our zipped lists and you'll see that what's returned is a zip object. And we could confirm that by checking our type here and seeing that we have a zip object. Now, you're probably asking, okay, but we need to display this a little nicer. Um, zip object isn't gonna cut it. So what we're gonna wanna do is wrap dict around it, wrap list around it. Uh, we have some options available to us. So here's what it looks like as a dictionary. Uh, you see our pairs where uh, we have the A from the first list, and then its pair is the double A from the second list. So you see how it's taking these lists and pairing them in key value pairs. Now, if we were to do this in a list, it's gonna look a little bit different. It's gonna look like a list of tuples. In any case, it still has the same A and AA kind of pairing together, so that's what's important. That's what makes the zip function what it does, is it brings together uh, these iterables. Another one that you can do is the set. So we'll try this out as well. That's when you're concerned with uh, unique elements. Next, let's look what happens when we add our third list in here. So I think we're gonna wanna do this as a list first. So we get the feel for it. And we see uh, our pairs of three, our tuples of three, A, double A, and triple A, B, double B, and triple B, etc. And I think you'll, you'll notice something interesting here, is that this list three actually has a length of five. So it has an extra element here, and that is not being reflected. And the reason is because that, uh, that E, that fifth element, is going to get ignored. The longer list is going to get ignored. So ideally, with the zip function, you want all your lists to be of the same length. You want all your iterables to be of the same length. And the only reason you want to use ones that are of different lengths is when you do not care about uh, those excess values, those values that are longer than uh, your shortest list, basically. And we can double confirm this. I can even add another element just to put that there. And there's no E, there's no F anywhere here in that response. We can even look to the docs for a little bit of guidance. And it says here that zip should only be used with unequal length inputs when you don't care about the trailing unmatched values from the longest iterables. All right, trying to think what else to show you guys. Let me clear this up. Next thing I just want to mention is that uh, the values don't need to be strings. We could even have a uh, nested list in here. Uh, maybe we'll do one, two, three, four, five. Um, whatever, whatever is good. And we can run this, and one, two, three, four, five is here. We have a nested list, and that's all good. Uh, the only time you might get into trouble um, is. Well, watch this. When we make this a dictionary, this should be fine. Nope, because we have a length of three. So if we do this, this is fine because the um, nested list is the, is, the, is the value. It's not the key here. But the key here is going to be in list one. And if we made this a list, that's not going to like that. So keep in mind that Within the zip function, you still need to work within the parameters of dictionaries and lists and sets and keep to their guidelines as well. All right, I think the last thing I want to show you guys is a simple for loop and uh, how that's often used with the zip function. So for a, b, and zip list, and we have our two lists here, we can print out a and b. And we run this, and we get some pretty weird input. So let me change this back to make this a little more digestible. Okay, we can run this again. A, A, B, B, C, C. Looks pretty good. Um, you can even like wrap this in a tuple or something. 
um, just to bring those pairs together and just make it clear that these values are really working together uh, the way the zip function intended. I think that's pretty much it, so thanks for watching.